is Laura and today I have a huge huge try on summer haul for you guys um, this is my first ever video that I'll be posting on YouTube because I don't know like um, try-ons have always been my favorite I've always put them as like a like sort of like a background noise while I go around the house doing stuff so I thought I don't know I thought I should like give it a go but damn let me tell you girl filming a try on haul is so tiring I I feel like I take it for granted because I don't know like I feel like every time I watch it oh it's only like 15 minutes long but <laughs> the actual filming is crazy like let me show you guys you can see the craziness that has gone on in my room so I, it's been a work in progress and I'm filming so let's start the first two accessories I got is from Topshop and they, they are these head, headbands this one is like a red florally color as you can see let me just try it on for you guys it just looks so cute on camera because the color is so vivid and it makes you look so pretty and different Ta -da! and this is just like a basic tool ribbon and inside you can sort of just like this metal wires where you can just sort of you know make the bow however shape you want so it can be upwards downwards and it'll just be like right up here so i went to holland and i also booked tickets to ariana grande um dangerous woman tour a lot of my friends know you guys probably don't know because this is my first youtube video but i am a massive fan of ariana grande i love ariana grande speaking of ariana grande i got myself some dangerous woman merchandise one of it is this tote bag so the front says ariana grande and the back says dangerous woman tour then i bought this sweatshirt hoodie thingy it has like her typical like trademark dangerous woman ear latex ears are they latex well late whatever and the sleeve says ariana grande oh <sighs> it's so warm where i live but i will wear this no matter how hot it gets and it's black oh my god then the next thing is this gray t-shirt well long sleeve shirt also ariana grande in the front and then it says ariana grande dangerous woman tour in the back and then the sleeve says dangerous i wanted to get a t-shirt but i thought like band t-shirts were too common and i wanted to look somewhat different from like the typical band t-shirt so that's why i got the long sleeve t-shirt moving on um let's talk about asos because i shop at asos at a very unhealthy level when i'm bored i go on asos at night before i go to bed I go on ASOS. Um, the first thing I got was this Calvin Klein bathing suit. As you can see, the straps here say Calvin Klein. And the reason why I wanted it was not really to swim in it, but to wear it sort of like a tank top or like a bodysuit with like a denim shorts. And I thought that would be pretty cute. The next thing I got is the this tie-dye this pink tie-dye t-shirt the color is sort of like a blush pink that's why i was so drawn to it and i thought it would suit like the summer that's coming well in your area but you know i like to follow the seasons anyway and i thought it was such a cute color and i really liked it the next one i got is a very unique shorts as you can see there are two zippers like going down the bottom and then there's a belt that goes over it. I, I like the design. The whole reason why I was drawn to this was because of the belt and the two zipper here. I've never seen anything like that. I thought it was so unique. And finally from ASOS, I have these Puma sort of... I, I think it's just ASOS exclusive Puma stuff. So this is just like a tank top and it crisscrosses at the back. And I loved it so much that I got the one, I got it in black as well. I when I like something very much, I will get it in all possible colors because that's just how obsessive I am with things. <laughs> okay, moving on to Motel Rocks, which is a brand that I've always wanted to try. I've always like stalked their Instagram. I was like very interested in their things, but I just never had the guts 
to go and buy from them and finally I did and I'm gonna show you what I got <laughs> so the first thing I got is this rainbow colored tank top it's like I would say it's like a knit type material it's so colorful and it's so suitable for the summertime then I got a dress well I don't know what it's what it is really but it's like a it's like an outfit really it's like a set so it comes with this bandeau I'll put it in a try on but it comes with this bandeau and this little overall thing so you put on the bandeau and then you put on the overall I like this so much because I thought like if I don't wear the dress as a set or the outfit as a set I can always just use the black bandeau or I could always just use the overall next top oh, I love this top look at this top girl I'm speechless look at the design look at the the pattern on this this freaking top it's a crop top and it's like a pretty much like a tank top crop top thing but I love the design I feel like it's so summery and it's so tropical and I can wear this all day all day and the last thing I got from Motel Rocks is also another set it's pretty much like a skirt and top set and it's like this design thing I I wore it together the first time I got it I tried it on um, back in Amsterdam and I was like girl this set is so beautiful let's move on to Urban Outfitters the first thing I saw that I really wanted but this was actually quite pricey I think it was like 25 euros for this this white t-shirt that's actually distressed and ruined my mom would disapprove so much but I like the sleeves I like the design on the sleeves and I like the little deep V like little slashes I knew I had to get it because I could like tie it in a knot and wear like high-waisted shorts and I think it looked it looked very like casual but like you put a lot of effort into your outfit because there's so much detail going on in a t-shirt Ugh. I tell you I think I have this obsession with tie-dye at the moment I think maybe summer is coming or maybe I'm slowly evolving into a hippie I digress but I bought this tie-dye top similar to the ASOS tie-dye top this is just black and white and the tie-dye is sort of like uh, what is it like a, like dotted lines like the ones you make on the illustrator but I like this I like it so much I like how it fits on me the next thing from Urban is something um, that I had to get and try out for myself um, which is this basic grey t-shirt I watched Claire Marshall's channel and she had a haul once from Urban Outfitters and she used to work in Urban Outfitters and they used to have a lot of this BDG um, basic t-shirts and she said she used to just like have a lot of them and the reason why is because first of all they're pretty affordable and second of all the quality is so good like it lasts her years so I'm gonna test it out with this t-shirt because it's my first ever BDG t-shirt and I'm so excited and then I got this Calvin Klein um, tank top. I like how, you know how like um, when people make crop tops like this, the hem is usually raw. This hem is not raw. It looks raw, but it's actually stitched. But the stitching is actually like quite invisible. Like you can't see it. And I, I think that's really good quality. The next thing are like bandos bandos galore because I do not have any bandos and I thought um, for this weather this heat I would like to wear like a bando underneath and then like maybe like a thin shirt over and like high-waisted shorts I think that would look really cool I got the out from under which is that very famous like underwear brand in Urban Outfitters I got a bando in mustard this is the seamless bando oh I'm in love it's so soft and not only is it soft it looks so good on it's so flattering I like it and because I like it so much I also got it in white in white so I have variety and the final bando I got from Urban Outfitters is this Tommy Hilfiger one the first time I saw a bando like this was on I think it was Claudia Saluski's Instagram account and 
I knew in that moment I had to like search the interwebs for this and I found it. Then I also got a pretty little bralette from Urban Outfitters. It's like, it looks like this. It's just like a grey outline with some lacy outline. So when you wear the bra, it just looks like you have little flowers on your boobs and they're pretty. And there's no try on for this for obvious reasons. The next brand we're going to move on to is Free People. I really like this stuff and so I got some stuff. The first thing I got is this um, rust color Brahmi. I think they're called Brahmi on the side. And the front is like this, so it's a pretty high neck. And then the back, it ties into like a certain crisscross design. I got it in black as well because black is more versatile. And black, I don't really need to worry about the nipples showing. And I also got... Guys, don't judge me, but I got... <laughs> This very sh small t-shirt thing, fabric thing, but I got it because I wanted to work out in it. So it will it will be like a crop top at the gym and I'll have like a sports bra showing through. But I haven't tried it yet, but I think I would use it at the gym because anyway, it's from the Free People Movement line and I think it will suit it. The next items are from Abercrombie and & Fitch and uh, I went to the one in Amsterdam to get these and I am so happy with this. This. I've been looking for a pair of denim cutoffs for a long time because I've kind of gained a little weight ever since I started working like a 9 to 5 job. Then I saw this top and I could not resist. It's so cute. The bottom is like a scallop lace detail. And my favorite part of this is the straps. The straps is like tied into a bow here. And I gotta be honest with you, my current favorite type of neckline right now is the straight cut high neckline. I feel like it really, really flatters my shoulders. I used to be really ashamed of my shoulders because it's very broad, it's very manly, but now I'm embracing my shoulders. I love them and I'm wearing clothes that flatters them. Ding, ding, ding. Primark is a godsend. So the first thing I got in Primark was the male like long cut tank top. I got this specifically to show off my bralette so it ends like at the end of below like the armpit area and it's very soft. Moving on, I also got this little green... I would say this is like a lime green t-shirt. I like it so much and I would wear it all the time. So cheery. The color is so like, hey, sunshine! So the next few items are just random items that I happen to pick up along this whole period of hauling. God bless my wallet. So the first thing is when in Amsterdam, get an Amsterdam tank top. Um, this tank top is a little tight for me. Um, I thought small, I usually wear an extra small, good grief, thank god I did not get the extra small because this one's pretty tight. I don't, I don't remember where I got this top. It might have been New Yorker, The Weekender, The Weekend, but it was somewhere in Amsterdam. It says here FB Sister, but I'm pretty sure that's not like the real brand that I got it from. But it's basically a grey t-shirt. Another grey item. I'm so sorry guys. But it says Las Patatas. I mean look at the potatoes on that t-shirt. Look at them. They are determined to give you your french fries. The next brand or store that I went to is Forever 21. My friend Cassie, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see my friend Cassie. Um, she wore this to a Fifth Harmony concert that we went to together. And it's pretty much... Uh, how do I present this? Oh my gosh! Uh, it's pretty much a bodysuit that is a very, very plunging neckline. Um, may have some nipples showing if you don't have any nipple stickers the risk of buying a nude bodysuit. And then at the back, it crisscrosses. So it crisscrosses at the back. 
and it's very really nice the bag is very low and when i saw her wear it i was like dude where is your bodysuit from i need it and then she's like it's for 21 i was like what it looks expensive! It does! The, the fabric is like shimmery. It's shimmery and soft and buttery. The next thing I got was from Topshop. It is the uh, Joni short and goddamn, they look flattering as fuck. I like them. The only thing I have to say about these shorts is I actually have to size two size, uh, one size up. I'm usually a UK 8 on shorts. And now I'm a UK 10. That's it for my haul! Thank you guys for watching. Um, hauls are my favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you're a haul fan, give me a thumbs up. And um, if you want to, subscribe to my channel. Hopefully I'll upload more videos. And leave me a comment on which was your favorite item. I'd like to know. I'd like to know. And if you want, if you want, you can follow me on Instagram. Where I post like fitness stuff well not fitness stuff sometimes and outfits and fashion and all this good stuff all right i will talk to you guys later bye